Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on the Psyching Bank Gaming channel. Yeah, I know two videos in two days. Yeah, it's a bit of a miracle if we look on the last few videos. But nevertheless, today we are going to look at the prospect of Jonas Bingo if he actually were to go to the Giro d'Italia. Obviously, type of capture with that in the last video. You want it, but uh, yeah, can Jonas Bingo do it better here in Pro Cycling Manager? Of course, we haven't got the new database yet that comes out on the 1st of January, but I thought we might as well give it a shot. He's never been to the Giro d'Italia, Jonas Bingo, of course. He's been to the Welter and the Tour de France, but never the Giro d'Italia. So would he win on debut? That is the question we're going to see if we can answer. So anyways, here we can see Jumbo Visma. They will be Visma Lisa bike, and if we pick our team, I mean, the team has been sort of announced what they are going to do for 2024, but regardless of that, we'll do our own one. We know Olaf Koi is apparently going to his first ever Grand Tour, so we'll put him on for some sort of insurgency policy, as we had with Milano in the Tyler Gacha video. We'll also pick Wilco Kellerman, former podium finisher, of course, at the Giro back in 2020. Very good rider and really hasn't, well, not really shown himself to what he can do at Jumbo yet, but he will, of course, develop on that. But Mingo as well, Milan Bada, winner of the Tour of uh, Huangxi in 2023. And Jan Tratnik, I think, would probably be a good engine for this as well. A very, very, well, veteran rider of the Giro Tire will pick Wild Bernard as well. He's, uh, his program this year includes both the Giro and the Vuelta España. And we also did a video about that here on the channel, so check that out if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, who else, who else? We, we've got two more riders to pick. We probably need some climbers, I would say. And uh, I don't want to pick Sepp Kuss because, yeah, he might be going to the tour in the welter. So Kreuzvik and Thomas Glow, why not? The young Brit. That seems like a pretty good team to say the least. Without further ado, we might as well get into it. First stage and Sobrero takes the win. And uh, yeah, I think Sombrero is actually changing teams. But yeah, no mountains, points obviously up for grabs here. But uh, yeah, second and third for us, and even sixth. Second stage, San Salvo. And yeah, just checking you on to go is our yellow jersey even on the simulation. And here we go. Coca takes a zero win. One, two for Coppice. Who would have seen that coming? I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. Sarokoptis and Jonas Vingal, we're just checking if he's safe. We don't want him to crash. We don't want him to lose time. Human Sosa in here, yeah, 130th place. So it's fine. Finishing in the bunch. But Ethan Hater has no Sobrero still has the jersey one second ahead of what went on. And in the master jersey, yeah, it does worry about it. But yeah, first big challenge, Melfi. And can we potentially get something here? Can Bingo win at first stage? No. Valtim Madouaz takes the stage win here. And yeah, ninth place for Bingo. Master Jersey, Fausto Mastanara picks up nine points. Where does that put us in GC? Ah, we're first. So being part of that split means that we're leading now ahead of Arantman and Sivakov, who's actually with UAE next year. So don't worry, we'll do more videos when we have the new database as well. But uh, yeah, stage four and uh, mountainous one. Mingo 96%. Come on, Mingo. Ah, oh, Sip Remco Venables here as well. Third for us and points. Sip and Mark takes to that. But the point is that, yeah, Remco is probably not going to be at the Giro. He has been selected for the tour. Well, the tour is a big goal for him, but we are still leading and Remco Venable is our biggest rival right now. So this is getting quite intriguing. Mingo and Remco have never really had a Grand Tour battle in that, in that like closeness. Obviously they had the World of Spain in 2023, but anyways, next stage. And Wabinart takes the victory. That's good to see. So we're up to two victories, I think. Uh, no, one victory. Wingard didn't win any victories yet. He was just in the right move. 
but we still have the lead with 17 seconds. Skelmo's up there as well, and Bremko has the white jersey. So Napoli here, Mespilson taking the win. Obviously, is he gonna win the in this simulation? No. Simone Conzoni. I mean, Coppies are having a great Giro d'Italia on this one. Bini's in the race as well. I mean, Remco, second place still in overall. And stage seven. Um, let's just make sure we still have all the riders in the right components, uh, right roles. Uh, Felix Gal takes the victory. Johan Spain got second, almost called it a loss like this. And yeah, I think we're going to extend. Jai Hindley's in the race as well. I think we're going to extend our lead to Remco by a bit. Let's see. 47 seconds. Okay, Adam Yates up into third. So, I mean, giving him uh, a Giro would be quite exciting as well. Obviously, Tadabagachi is going there. But I mean, yeah, I can't actually recall him being at the Giro. Nevertheless, stage eight. And Bingo takes the victory here. So, finally getting a win with Bingo. Not the kind of stage you would have thought Bingo would be winning. This is more Remco Venipol stage, classic stage kind of thing. Uh, one minute and ten seconds now ahead of Remco. While Venar has the green jersey or the Ciclomino jersey, so yeah, not bad. Uh, time trials, time now, and Bingo, good tester. Remco then Harley here, so yeah, losing a bit of time here on Remco. But a good win from Ramco, the world champion. And yeah, he only takes seven seconds back here. So yeah, we still have the points jersey and the Malia Rosa as well. So stage 10 now. And can we get a win here maybe with Koi? Oh, wow, we're not. Wow, we're not. It takes the win. Koi is nowhere. I'm not even sure. He, he must still be in the race because he, he's been shown in the ranking. So two stage wins from Wow, one from Jonas. So, yeah, Walt picking up a lot more points, jersey points. And yeah, we're still leading by 40 seconds. Jan Tratnik's is in the top 10 of the GC. That's crazy. Jan Tratnik in the top 10 after 10 stages of Grand Tour. That's not really something I thought I'd be seeing. Yeah, stage 11 and what well, have stage again, perhaps? Yeah. Take this third stage win. Remember in the What Van Giro video, he was absolutely crazy in terms of winning stages. I think it was eight or nine by the end of it. And Vingo, 72nd. And Wout still has the points jersey. Binyam Gamay of the. But yeah, Vingo, 40 seconds and not too bad to say the least. Well, we move on to the stage 12 into Rivoli. Simone Conzoni wins another stage. He's having a blinder. Obviously, he's at Little Trek for 2024. But yeah, let's see. Kanzoni taking the green jersey points up for the day. And in terms of... Oh, shoot. We lost time there. We're only leading by 10 seconds. I did not see that when we lost time. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of a do or die stage now. 10 seconds. Still 96% form. Second to Sibakov here. Sibakov wins the stage. Where's Remco? 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 I can't see Remco. Is this one of his big cracks here? I think it may be. Mountain stage. Sibakov picks up all the points, more or less. Yes. Remco had one of his days losing one minute and 23 seconds there. So, yeah, good for us. And I mean, yeah, that's exactly what we needed. 10 seconds was a bit too close. Wabinar picks up his fourth stage win here. And yeah, not too bad that. 84 for Jonas Bingo. And I I mean, it is, it is tantalizingly close to take a second Giro d'Italia win from one of these videos. Uh, winning yesterday and then winning today as well. Obviously, the two, Jonas Bingo and Tapigacha, are in, in a class of their own. So. Yeah, not really surprising, but uh, yeah, Thomas Glogue, 99% form here. Maybe just send him up the road if, if the wind's in the bag, but Remco Venepol takes a stage win here in Bergamo. And yeah, that means that, yeah, he takes back a bit of time, one minute and four seconds right now. 
Albanese has the Mansa jersey for Yolo. That's a bit surprising. Stage 16. Big Madsen stage here. Can we do it? Can Jonas do it? He's still 96% form. Thomas Globe 99. That's crazy when you think about it. Here we go. Bing Go takes the win. 22 seconds ahead of Remco and Jed Hindley. So that's good. We extend our lead. His second stage win, I think. And showing just his incredible form. A woman is 30 seconds ahead of Remco right now. That is brilliant for us. Second in the Master jersey as well. Albanese taking that one. Stage 17. This should be one for Wild potentially. Wall of Coy not in great form right now. Ah, oh, Sam Bennett takes it. Obviously, he'll be riding for Age 2 r Not Citroen. The capital on Age 2 r next year. But yeah, Wolf Goy not had a great Giro d'Italia by any metrics. And yeah, Ringo 122nd. The only thing checking there is that he isn't losing any points. Young rider, Union Gamay, best young rider. I mean, Ringo that, 1 minute 30. Well, we're not comfortably in the lead of that purple jersey. But uh, coming to stage 18 here, and this is one of the final climbs. Third stage win for Jonas Bingo. Where is Remco? Remco having a bad day to say the least. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like Remco is two minutes and 45 seconds, four seconds behind Adam Yates. So, I mean, his second place could be under threat here as well particularly on this stage coming up now, stage 19, absolutely incredible stage. 96% form still for Bingo, and here we go. What will it be? Jad Hindley takes the victory. Remco and Bingo kind of marking each other out there. Oscar Only up there in as well. And let's see, Remco loses his second place. So Adam Yates moves up into second place there. And yeah, we might as well move on to the final time trial, the final competitive stage. Monte Lazari, Jonas Bingo wins it just like Remco Venable did. No, not Remco Venable. Or Bimas Roglic in the real edition. But yeah, there you can see Adam Yates, second place, Remco in third place now. Young riders, we don't really care about that. But yeah, Adam Yates just leapfrogging here. Last stage. Can what we not win here or all of Koi? No, Sam Bennett wins again. So, yeah, that was a bit of a shame. You want to swing goal? Just making sure that he hasn't lost any points. Uh, oh, time, not points. Uh, what we not picking up some points in the green jersey anyway, or the purple jersey. But there we have it. Let's just focus in on that top 10. Jonas Vingor wins the Giro d'Italia by 2 minutes and 41 seconds, not as much as Tadej Pogacar did in the other video. Uh, Adam Yates in second place, Remco Venepol in third place, Oman Bade, Felix Gal, Jade Hindley, Danny Martinez, Sivakov, Rafa Maika, and Joel Meda. I mean, UAE absolutely running away with the team classification here. And Jan Tratnik unfortunately disappeared from the top 10, while Van Aert wins the Malio the purple jersey as well more than 60 points ahead of Sam Bennett so not bad at all Masters jersey oh Bingo wins the Masters jersey as well and the young riders classification is won by Remco Venable and yeah the team obviously is UAE team Emirates but yeah that's basically it for this video and uh, yeah Bingo wins just like we had with Tarv Gacha in the other video and if you haven't already make sure to check that video out as well and of course as always hit the like button subscribe to the channel here on the gaming channel let's try and get to a thousand before the new year and of course as always thank you for watching and i will see you around